Hello, Cancers. This is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot, and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of March. And there might be some sort of challenge that you have coming in your life, and you're going to have to um, do some meditation, do some praying, do some soul searching on it with Ankh here. And there is going to be support in your life, though. You're going to have realizations and epiphanies. Your emotions are going to be all over the place. There's going to be a lot of forgiveness. Um, and see things from a higher perspective and trust in the unknown. Trust your talents in changing times and take time to reflect. So that's where the meditation and prayer comes in. Um... And what was once lost will be found again. And you're going to go through a lot of healing. And simple acts of kindness um, energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. And the heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. And honesty is essential. Appreciate in the moment, rest and relaxation is essential and forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. All because of this one card. Twin Flames. Your passion may ignite, but it's going to cause a lot of issues. They are your soulmate. You are going to have freedom. There is going to be sexual union towards it. Uh, but criticizing will only lead to further unhappiness and love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life, creating unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So that's your oracle cards. And yeah, your love life is going to be a little chaotic. Whereas things, the rest of your life, uh, it's going to be pretty much okay. Um, and I'm making room because I am using the Druidcraft Tarot. And I'm going to be clarifying with the Celtic, Universal Celtic Tarot, and then we will get some advice from there. But, let's see what pops out for your overall energy for the month of March, Cancer. You're seeking equal give and take. You're seeking to give your heart towards somebody. The moon is going to illuminate your king of cups, your soulmate. So you may be dealing with another water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Possibly Pisces with the moon here, or another Cancer. And like I said, you're dealing with a soulmate, which ignites your passions as the Queen of Wands. You're going to have your guard up a little bit. But this person is going to be riding in very passionately towards you. Okay, two more cards for the outcome. And yeah, two, three, and then the rest back. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. You are going to become a empress in this situation. And 
You are going to get your Ten of Cups. And Justice is here, bringing balance. You may get an offer at work uh, with the Prince of Pentacles here. And it may be from a King of Wands, which you're going to have the strength to go with. And it's a passion project that you want to take on as the Princess's Wands. And you will have an argument over how it's going. Potentially. So why is the Queen of Cups here? You're getting a new beginning in love with the Ace of Wands. So why is the moon here? That's a lot of cards. The moon is ending your Ten of Swords. Bringing in this offer from this King of Cups. Who is your wish fulfillment? which you need to decide on. So why is the King of Cups here? Okay. Cards just want to talk today. There are somebody that you walked away from previously. Somebody that you haven't paid attention to whatsoever. But they're coming back in, they are coming back in very quickly. As a Knight of Cups on a Chariot. So why is the Lovers here? You're done with being heartbroken, being left out in the cold, because you've healed into an empress. So why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay, top three and respect. You have a different perspective on life now, and the Lovers is here bringing in this person who's very passionate for you as a Knight of Wands. So why is the Seven of Wands here? You have your guard up, but you're trying to figure out how, what steps you need to take next. Now, why is the Prince of Wands here? The world is bringing about this new beginning for you. It ended something that you no longer needed, and it's bringing in something new. So why is the Nine of Cups here? You wished for strength and you wished for clarity. And you get it after coming out of a hermit mode. So why is the lady here? Why is the empress here? You have a new beginning with the truth. And it causes you some anxiety. Judgment is resurrecting something from your past. Something in which you need to hear from a king of swords. And it brings some options to you. It does eventually lead to the Ten of Cups. And we do have the Twin Flame card here with the Two of Cups. 
So for some of you who are going more than just a twi uh, two, a soulmate <laughs> and called in your twin flame, yeah, you're, they are potentially likely coming in. Okay, any advice for cancer for the month of March? Judgment, so something's being resurrected. Something that you manifested. Something that you're waiting on. A Knight of Pentacles. And it's something that you're fated to decide on, to go into calmer waters, to receive their offer. Although you are a queen of swords at the moment, working on becoming an empress, but you're changing your perspective and although you do have your guard up, whoever's coming in is coming in very quickly. But that's your reading, um, Cancer, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again next time. Laters.